Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm Cheryl and this is Your Journey Yoga. So excited to have you with me today, you guys. Thank you for being here. I hope you'll take just a second and subscribe to my channel. Um, I hope you'll come back often. Um, please provide me with feedback, any kind of um, constructive criticism. Always love it, you guys. I'm here for you um, and that's, that's why I do what I do for you. So thanks for being here. Hip mobility. Oh, it's so important, you guys. We hold so much negative energy in those hips, and it's just really great to let go of that negative energy and really get to that ball and socket joint of our hips being able to work efficiently without pain and keeping it that way for as long as we possibly can. So today we're going to start in a nice wide-legged stance. As wide as you're comfortable and extend those arms, maybe just a little on the other side of comfortable. Rotate those palms to the sky, inhale, reach to the sky, sunflowers. Exhale, grand plie down, sweep the hands towards the ground, keep your chest nice and tall, inhale, reach to the sky, squeeze those glutes. Exhale, grand plie. Inhale, reach. Exhale, grand plie. We have two more of those. You can come as deep as you like or stay as high as you wish, keeping that core strong. Ah, uh, just breathe. Inhale, reach to the sky. Pull those hands to heart center and let's sink into those legs. Find your breath. Slow it down. Inhale, st straighten those legs just a little bit. And then exhale, sink. Release your hands to the insides of your thighs, just at the top of your, um, of your quads. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, press that right knee out and away as you turn and take your gaze out over that left shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Keep that core strong. As you exhale, press that left knee out and away. Inhale it back to center one more time each side. Exhale, press that right knee out and away. Inhale back to center and exhale, press it away. Inhale it back to center, lift the hands, sink into those legs. Release your hands to the mat and sink in. Frog pose, if you need to adjust your feet, adjust your feet. Take a big breath in and as you exhale, extend those legs. Let your head be heavy, let your chest come forward. Weight is in your heels, and as you inhale, bend those knees. Lower your bottom back down to about knee height. And then exhale, extend those legs. Once again, inhale, bend the knees. And exhale, extend those legs. Inhale, lift halfway up, extend those arms, place that right hand underneath you, center it. Rotate your body and extend left arm to the sky. Go ahead and let those hips shift. Lengthen and reach to the fingertips as high as you can reach. Nice long stretch through the inner thigh of that right leg. Breathe. As you exhale, releasing that left hand down, left hand takes the place to the right. We rotate and extend right arm to the sky. Reach it up high as you can reach. Nice long stretch to the inner thigh of that left leg. As you exhale, slowly releasing it down, releasing the weight of the upper body down. Let's take a hold of the outsides of the ankles and use the strength of the arms to pull that upper body towards the space between your legs. A little tuck of your chin towards your chest. Breathe. Inhale, lifting just enough to release those arms. Ever so slowly, roll it up. Just let your arms be heavy and those head be he the head be heavy. And a big shoulder roll up and back. Shoulders slide down and away. Now we're going to heel toe those feet out just once, a little bit wider. And we're going to rest those hands on the thighs, or if you want a little more intensity, bring the hands to heart center. We're going to bend that left knee, and we're going to hinge forward just a little bit. Come back through to center, stand tall, and then bend that right knee. Bottom comes back just a little bit, and then come back to center. Again, left knee bends. And we rise, keeping those feet glued to the earth. Right knee bends. Bottom goes back just a little bit, hinging forward. Coming back up. Let's do that one more time. Firing up those quads. Mobility through those hips. Strengthen that core and that lower back. One more time. Breathe. And back to center. Heel toe those feet in once. Let's do it again. Heel toe. 
And again, heel toe, feet are hip width apart. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, arch it back. Oh, just a good feel good stretch through the belly, through the chest. Inhale, head up nice and tall. Pull the hands to heart center. And let's heel toe those feet out once. Maybe that's good enough. We want it just a little wider than your hips. So if you need to adjust slightly, adjust. And we're going to slowly bend those knees. And we're going to sink. Tailbone pointing straight towards the floor. Check, crown of the head towards the sky. And we're going to sink as low as feels right to you. So if by chance feels good to you to come all the way down into garland, we're going to press the forearms towards the, towards the earth. Shoulders are rolled back. Breathe. Now, if you need to adjust the width of your stance, adjust. Please adjust. And then we're just going to shift our weight side to side. Just kind of play with it. See how it feels. Find your breath. Now, I want you to pretend that there is a wall behind you. And I want, if your bottom is kind of out and you're in a little bit of an angle, I want you to draw that pelvis through and lift the chest. So press those elbows into the insides of your knees to draw those knees back and to draw that pelvis through. We're working to get our back against that wall. May or may not happen today, guys, so no judging. And then I want you to notice what's happening with your feet. So are the insides, the arch of your foot, are you really rolling forward towards the arch of your foot? See if you can roll back towards the pinky toe side of your foot. Find that breath. Now let's slowly lead with the crown of the head. Do your best not to lift your bottom first. We're going to rise. Coming all the way up. It's a challenging pose. Challenging way to get all the way up. Extend those arms to the sky. Find a focal point out in front of you and lift up to the balls of your feet. Breathe. And slowly bring the heels back down. Slowly bring the hands back down. And let's slowly lower down. Once again, bending those knees. Breathe. Finding your garland pose. Placing that right hand to the inside of the right foot. Left arm extends to the sky, gaze to the sky. We shift some weight over onto that right foot. Lengthen through those left fingertips. And we pull back to center. Hands to heart center. And then we shift left hand down, shift your weight a little bit to the left, right arm reaches to the sky, high as you can reach. Should really be feeling those hips, my friends. And release back to center. Release your hands out in front. You're going to lift your bum enough to heel toe those feet back in, lowering your bottom down, finding a safe way to come down onto your bottom. Feet are going to come out in front, hands come behind you, just supporting wherever it's comfortable for you. And we're going to open up those feet just a little bit wider than the width of your mat. So if your hands are more comfortable being out, absolutely fine. I want you to lift the chest so we're not sinking in and really being kind of lazy through the belly. I want you to sit up nice and tall. We're going to rock the knees to the right and then back through center and to the left. Back through center to the right. Back through center to the left, keeping that belly button drawn in, keeping that chest lifted, lifting out of the shoulders, making sure we always have a neck. Breathe. One more time to the left. And we come back to center, drawing the soles of the feet together. Turn your fingertips towards your bottom if that feels okay. Again, Adjust how you need to adjust. Soles of the feet are not as close in as they could be. They're out and away just a little bit. And if you're taking special care of your ankles today, I want you to just focus on lifting the chest, arching through the tummy and through the chest. If the ankles feel good and strong, we're going to build them stronger. Core is strong and engaged. We lift those hips, pressing those knees out and away. Breathe. If ever you are not sure if it's the right thing to do, always err on the side of caution. Slowly bring your bottom back down. We lift and reach to the sky. Exhale and hinge it forward, reaching out through those fingertips. Release your hands and relax the weight of your head. So there are a ton of exercises that we could do for hip mobility, but one thing is, is you don't want to overdo Okay, so when we're taking care of the hips, guys, there is such a thing as too much of a good thing. 
So just listen to your body. And if ever we're doing something and you feel like, wow, that's just a little more than I need or my body needs, yeah, by all means, save the other part of the practice and join me again. But it is about taking care of yourself doing the things that are right for your body. Let's slowly pull those hands back in. Mm, sit up nice and tall. Let's turn and face front, crisscrossing those legs. So crisscrossing legs in and of itself is a pretty decent hip stretch. So if you can come to crossing legs like this and it's not a big deal, you guys celebrate that. If you come to your legs crossed and you're like, oh my goodness, why is this so hard? Celebrate that you're here and you're doing what is good for your body. If you need to kind of put pillows or blocks underneath your knees so that you can truly relax into the pose, make that happen. Find that length in your spine, relax the hands. Let's take a big breath in, press the chest forward, arch your back, gaze to the sky, just finishing with a really nice release to that spine. Exhale, hollow the tummy and chest. Inhale, press it through, arch your back. Exhale and hollow. Inhaling it up nice and tall. Pulling the hands to heart center. Close your eyes for just a moment. Feel the length in your spine, the softness in the shoulders. Hopefully the hips are feeling warm, maybe a little fuzzy. Hopefully feeling the love that you have just provided for them. Celebrate the gift of where you are in your practice, the abilities of your beautiful body to do what it does. Stay consistent, stay kind, and you will see progress, my friends. Each and every time you join me, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Let's gently open the eyes. I wish you well. I wish you a day with no pain, a beautiful day full of laughter and happiness. Until the next time, my friends, light and love and namaste.